automatic Tempe tower. Um, and we're just going to have a look at the features and benefits and go through some of the specifications as well as test it out today. So we've got a manual. We've also got the power cords. Plug that guy in. Um, we've also got an Allen key and what looks like a cleaning brush. base so that's a replacement base and last but not least the actual camping device itself so it's quite a well weighted device feels very well made it's got a nice matte finish like a grainy matte finish with the precision emblem emblazoned on the front. So now that the automatic tamping tower is plugged in and the screen is lit, we can go through the settings. So there are three settings. Uh, we've got time, so that's the amount of times that the base of the tamp will eject out of the press. So once, twice, or three times is the highest amount of times you can press. Um, if you were in a high volume cafe, I'd probably recommend using maybe one time just because you want to cut the amount of time that you spend on your um, pup process and you've got the next setting which is an icon with a finger on a button so once you press that that will actually eject to the base of the tamper and then you can clean the tamper you can remove the tamper and then once you're finished with that you can just press the uh, icon again and then that will lift the tamper back into place the last setting is uh, how many kilos of pressure the press will compress into the basket. So the highest amount of pressure that you can set the tamping press to is 30 kilos. The lowest amount of pressure is five kilos. I probably recommend anything in between that. So maybe 15 kilos just to start off with. Okay, so now I've got my walnut naked handle and my dosing cup. Just freshly weighed at 19 and a half grams. Just going to distribute with the dosing cup, which is what it's great for. And I'm just going to hand distribute like old school ways. Just to spread those grounds around. Okay, so I've got my freshly pressed naked handle here. Um, we just previously pressed it with the precision automatic tamper. So now we're just going to test a shot underneath the machine and see how the extraction goes. I've also got a coffee puck screen too. Um, I just wanted to try this one out. We just got this one in, so I wanted to see how well it does um, in combination with the tamped press. And I also wanted to see if this creates more consistency and we get a better crema. So, I'm just going to place it on top of the coffee bed and then we're just going to go for it. 